Okay, welcome to hardware connection training for the video streaming kit. All right. Okay, so first we start with a Mac. Okay, so everything start with a Mac. So first, make sure you plug it in. If you don't plug it in, you're gonna run out of battery and you'll have a very bad day, and that will be bad. So the next thing, so we plug in the Mac. Then we have this device in the back. We have the video streaming kit interface box. This looks like a nice big tangle of cables, but all you really might need to know about are these ones in the green wrapper here. The red ones you're not going to use. So anyhow, this thing you will see has a bunch of breakout inputs and outputs here, which you will never disconnect this block. Just leave this on here. We have HDMI in. We have HDMI out, which we don't use, and SDI in and out, which we're not going to use, and our Thunderbolt. First thing we're going to do is connect this box to the Mac. And the way we do that is through the Thunderbolt connection. So that cable is also in the bag right here. So you'll plug it in there. And you plug it in over on this side where the other connections are. There we go. Okay, so it plugs right in there. And there are two Thunderbolt connections. So one of them goes for this. The other, in the bag, you will also see this adapter. So you can actually plug in a network cable because we can't really do reliable uh, net, uh, video streaming over Wi-Fi. So we're going to make sure to plug in. So that, we'll plug this guy in over there. And you will have run a network cable and you'll just plug that in. Boom. Okay, so now we have network and we have the video interface. Great. So the next step is to decide whether you're connecting the camera over HDMI or whether you're connecting it over composite. We're going to go HDMI. So, first thing we do is we'll set up a camera like this one here, this Panasonic. Um, we have found during testing that the Canon camcorders do not support this HDMI out. Even though they have this jack, they're not going to work. So you're going to make sure to use this Panasonic camcorder. Just like the, with the shoe on the back and everything, it looks like this. So make sure that the camcorder you're setting up looks like this. Great. Now, <clears throat> ignore this uh, arrow here. This is for AV out for a different thing. But this HDMI, this is what we're going to connect in here. There's a cable that comes with it. And there's a smaller end here that fits and there's a bigger end and so make sure you use the smaller end which is just slightly smaller there for this otherwise it's not going to fit and you're going to jam it in and you're going to have a bad day so make sure it lines up and the if you see it's kind of a d-shaped all right the smaller side of the d-shaped connection is up so we'll plug that in and it will Kind of click right in there don't force it too much but it should be nice and snug now the other side of this hdmi cable gets plugged into our video interface box where it says hdmi in great so you plug that in and that's how we have our hardware connection now if you're plugging into a sound system uh, in the sol or processor or somewhere else that's where we're going to plug in the audio feed into the left and right audio input jacks here in this green bundle. We're going to talk about that in a separate video dedicated to processor and the salt. But just know that these are what you would use if you're setting up uh, external audio input into this system.